My name's James Powderly, and I'm a designer, um, somewhere between maybe an artist and an engineer. Over the last two years or so, I've been traveling around and doing art shows all over the world. I was on a course to become an underqualified corporate aerospace engineer. I've worked on two projects for NASA that eventually found their way to Mars. One was the Phoenix Lander, and then the first one was the Mars Exploration Rover. We made the thing that grinds into the planet Mars. And I think I could have kept doing it, and I did enjoy a lot of aspects of it. At the same time, there was a guy I'd never met, Evan Roth, on his way to being a cubicle, work-a-day guy. But he quit his job, like I quit my job in aerospace engineering, and we both got residency in this place called iBeam. And the idea was that creative technology lab where you could come and work on your own projects, somewhere between new media art and MIT. Sort of super genius lab. So one of us said, well, you know, if you just took one of those LEDs and you stuck a magnet on it and you stuck a battery in it, you'd have like one pixel. And we went, we made one, we went outside and we threw it up on the high line. We thought that kind of works, but obviously this has to be done in mass to be interesting. We kind of put them all together, picked out a building that was right next to I-Beam, and we went out and threw these on. By the end of the night, there were like 30 people tossing them up, including like security guards and bouncers from the bar next door. But as we got deeper into graffiti, we aligned ourselves much more with graffiti writers than street art. We made a prototype, it works, a project called Laser Tag, which basically allows you to take like a, just a normal off-the-shelf consumer projector, a CCTV camera, and a laptop, and combine those together with a green laser pointer so it looks like you're drawing on a building. Laser tag kind of popped us out a little bit. You know, we got to go and travel around the world and meet a lot of interesting people. One of those people was named Tony Kwan, and he's also called Tempt. He really innovated um, the LA graffiti scene, but he was diagnosed with ALS, which is a degenerative neuromuscular disease. Basically, all the voluntary muscles in his body have slowly stopped responding to his commands or any commands. So this includes his ability to talk, his ability to move his arms, but um, his mind is 100% intact and this creative energy is still kicking, you know? He can also move his eyes. If someone can make a computer that you can use with your eyes, and these guys can make graffiti on the side of buildings that involves a computer, they should be able to make something for this guy. We went out to LA, spent 10 days on the project, kind of developed a prototype. First, uh, I look at my eye that's uh, being captured in this camera. When I focus on a certain position, it makes a point. Then I can drag the line in order to create a line and then create shapes. Then I can create a number of letters, combine them all together to make a word, and then do things like add 3D effects, add shading, fill in the background, stuff like this. <laughs> And then on the last night of uh, that first 10 day development sort of session, Tony Kwan wrote for the first time in seven years using his eyes. Um. 